Hi everybody, I'm Johanna with Red Outdoor Provision Company. I've been with the company for uh, a little over a decade now and I'm an avid backpacker and hiker. So I'm just gonna do a brief overview of some hiking shoe options that you can consider if you're new to the sport or even if you've done it for a long time, maybe some new brands to, to look at. So what I like to tell new people to hiking who are overwhelmed by a wall that looks like this with lots and lots of shoes is that you can think of it along the spectrum where boots, heavy duty boots are on one end of the spectrum and then a sneaker is on the other end of the spectrum. And whatever your comfort level it is, you can buy something somewhere in that spectrum that suits your needs. I personally used to wear taller, heavier boots and now I've transitioned into wearing more sneaker-like shoes because I find that that gets the job, job done enough of the time that I don't really need to wear a taller, thicker boot, but it is up to you. So if you have ankle concerns and you know you're likely to roll your ankles or you're prone to doing that, if you're gonna be wearing a heavy pack or if you're gonna be on particularly loose and uneven terrain, you really should consider something a little bit taller because it's gonna give you those sides and the protection that you need to tilt you back into the middle if you get off balance, which you're more likely to do with a heavier pack because it's weight additional to your own body weight that you're not used to having every day. If you wanna do something that's more of a sneaker or more of like a, so again, somewhere between a tall boot and a sneaker along that spectrum, you've got a lot more options. And if you're not carrying a heavy pack, if it's just a day pack, or if you don't have any pack at all, you don't really need the extra support up here. So you've got a variety of options in there. What we're gonna focus on today for the sake of time versus going through every single one of these is one of my favorite brands here, Ultra. So Ultra makes shoes that have a wider toe box, which I really, really love. So I've been a trail runner for many years and I've tried many things and the Lone Peak is my favorite. So when your foot is bent and flexed and your toes are spread out, you need all that space in the front, which is good for hiking and for running. I use these for trail running, but a lot of people like to use them for hiking as well. The reason that I don't use them for trail running and hiking is because I want to extend the life of these shoes and try to save them for when I'm just running. But if you want to wear them for all that kind of stuff, you may find that you just have to replace them more frequently. Or you can get something like a sneaker and then get something that's somewhere in the middle, maybe like one of these, so you can trade off depending on what you feel like doing. So the Lone Peak, if you go like this, you can see it's pretty flexible and soft, but it's still got a nice tread on the bottom that's good on different types of terrain. We're gonna also look at the uh, Olympus from Ultra. If you take the Olympus and you go like this, it's a, I can't even do that, it's really stiff, so that gives you some great support on the bottom but it still has a nice breezy sneaker-like feel up top. 